I have three test tubes here. The first one, all three of them have two milliliters of water. The first one has chloromethane, a methyl halide. halide. The second one has chl one chloroheptane, a primary chloroorganic compound. And the third one has t-butyl chloride, which is a tertiary chloroorganic compound. So I'm going to add five drops of silver nitrate to each of them as soon as I grab the silver nitrate. So this is silver nitrate. I'm going to add five drops. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to shake them all up. And we're going to look at what happens. I want you to notice that the methyl chloride there's no precipitate there. The chloroheptane, the primary compound, there's no precipitate there. But instantaneously, if you look, the tubule chloride is cloudy. That's the indication of the formation of a precipitate, and it happens instantaneously. What I'm going to do, and you can see some of the solid forming on the sides of the test tube and stuff. Um, I'm going to take the first two that did not form a precipitate, I'm going to put them in a warm water bath, and then we'll look at what happened to them in about 15 minutes. So you can see after boiling for about 5 to 10 minutes, the chloroheptane still has no reaction, and the methyl chloride, the chloroform, still let me get make sure I get it in front of there. I didn't right put it in the right place. So that's the chloromethane, and that's the um, chloroheptane. Both of them have not reacted still after heating. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing again. I have two test tubes, both with two milliliters of water. The first one has five drops of bromoethane, a primary bromide. The second one has five drops of 2-bromopropane, a secondary bromide. I'm going to add five drops of silver nitrate to each. So first to the bromoethane, one, two, three, four, five. And then the 2-bromopropane, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to shake them up and you can see um, the bromoethane hasn't done anything yet. And the Bromo, 2 bromopropane hasn't done anything yet, if you look closely. But if we shake them for a minute, what we'll notice is a difference between the two. It'll take about a minute or so, but what's going to happen and what we'll notice is that the 2 bromopropane starts getting cloudy. You can even see it happening a little bit right now. And it's hard to observe with a white background, but if I put a darker background behind it, you can see that it's starting to get cloudy. It's not quite clear. It, whereas the, two, the bromoethane is still completely clear. Let's check on the bromo, 2 bromopropane again, and you can see it's getting even more cloudy. So it's reacting. It didn't react instantaneously like the tubule chloride, but it's definitely reacting faster than the bromoethane. To prove that the bromoethane would eventually react with sodium uh, silver iodide, I mixed um, the, the two before in a hot water bath, and you can see after heating it, bromoethane does react with silver iodide. Okay, I have two test tubes. Both are filled with one mil of sodium, sodium iodide in acetone. To the first one, I'm going to put ethyl bromide, which is a uh, primary bromide, in about five drops. I'm going to be careful not to spill it. So I wasn't very careful, but that's about five drops. And I'm going to do the same thing to the um, two bromopropane, which is a secondary bromide. And again, I'll try to be more careful this time. 
hopefully I'm more successful. One, two, three, four, five. And I will shake them both up. And you can see that the bromoethane, the primary bromate, reacted essentially immediately. Whereas the 2-bromopropane, the secondary one, doesn't react immediately. And we could wait a while to see if it reacted. But what I did is I took a sample of this that I made earlier and I heated it in a, a hot bath, a boiling water bath, for about 30 to 45 seconds. And you can see when I do that, that there is a solid that forms. So the 2-bromopropane does react after we heat it. And the bro bromoethane reacts immediately. I'm going to react bromopropane and iodoethane, bromoethane and iodoethane with sodium iodide and acetone. They're both primary halides, so they should react fast. So I'm chilling them in ice right now to try to slow down the reaction a little bit. So I'm going to take the bromoethane first, and I'm going to add the, the sodium iodide and acetone. I'm going to shake it a little bit, set it here, and then I'm going to do the same thing for the iodoethane. Add it, shake it, and we'll wait and see if something happens. So we've got them both sitting there. They've both been chilled. And I think you can see that the iodoethane is starting to react. The iodo compound, the primary iodo compound, is definitely react completely, basically. Let's watch the bromoethane for a little while. Still hasn't reacted. Um, hopefully, as it warms up, it will start reacting. And it's starting to get cloudy. If I give you a dark background, you can see that it's a little bit cloudy. And it's slowly reacting. And eventually, it will be as reacted as this iodo compound, which has really formed a lot of solid. You can see the bromoethane still is reacting slowly, but it's getting there as it warms up. 